In this video I will show you 5 things you can do as a beginner. First C, to enhack me your gameplay and speed up your progression. For something I will recommend you a few different ways so you can choose yourself what suits your playstyle. Today's shoutouts go to these guys. If you want a shoutout in the next video just leave a like and tell me what you found the most helpful in this video. So as you probably already know there is a compass in the game that tells you your next quest giver slash island. I'm max level and it tells me to go to the fountain city because it's the highest level island in the first sea. As I am max levels it's really easy for me to kill any NPC on the first sea. But, for a beginner it would not be like that. So the point of this first tip is that not all enemies in the first sea are balanced. Like if you don't have Logia fruit enemies at the pirate village will be really hard to kill unlike gorillas and monkeys at the jungle island. So when the compass tells you to go to the next island go there and see if the enemies are worth grinding. Besides enemies health and damage another thing that will impact your grinding efficiency is how much they are spread around the island. As you can see here at the fountain city they are not that close to the quest giver and not that close to each other so you can't group them and kill all of them at the same time. But they are much better than here at the prison island. As you can see it would take you a lot of effort to group the enemies here because they are spread all around these walls around the island. So I would recommend you to grind at the previous island until you reach the next one and check if the next one is better, it probably is. So applying this grinding method will allow you to save a lot of time and effort which will result in much more efficient gameplay. If you don't know what a Logia fruit is it's basically a fruit that is based on some natural element in its abilities. In the blocks fruits we have smoke flame ice sand dark light magma rumble and dough when it comes to elemental fruits. Now why elemental fruits are the goat in the first sea? Well if you use a Logia fruit then enemies can hit you if you meet the level requirement, which is about or a few levels above the enemy level. So the best Logia for the first sea would be the well known light fruit because it has a really good traveling speed. Smoke is the only Logia that I would not recommend for grinding because it's really cheap and bad fruit, you can use it if you're sword main. Other Logias can be a bit expensive but you can save up for them or get them from a friend who is second or third C, they have a ton of them trust me. So if you want to grind as efficiently as possible in the first C, use a Logia. As you can see right now all my stat points are in melee defense and sword. That's because I don't use my fruit, I use booted but you don't need to put stat points to increase its first ability that I only use, shift move. But the thing is that I am at the third C. So what I would recommend to a beginner is to use their stat points smartly and not be a hybrid build because it's nonsense to be at the first C. Combining this with the previous dip and putting all your stat points in the blocks fruit stat and being a fruit main will give you the best results in my opinion. But of course you will need some energy and health so about 80% of the points should go to the blocks fruit stat. Why is the hybrid build bad at the first C? It's because if you spread your points across gun sword and blocks fruit you will not have the best ability to deal a lot of damage so it will slow down your progress. So just use a logia and be a fruit main and you will be alright. I am max and I still haven't used all my codes. You shouldn't use all your codes at the beginning because in the first C you level up much faster than the second and third C. And when that speed slows down you will start to lose interest in game and you will want to quit. That's when the codes will save you because you will use them and enjoy the 2x XP boost. So yeah, don't waste your codes. So don't get me wrong, first C is pretty fun to play and grind in but the game becomes really fun when you reach the second C. That's because you unlock so much new stuff that you always have something to grind and strive for. Also you can catch up to your favorite YouTubers and game will be so much more interesting. So by applying the previous tips you will reach the second C in no time. Also if you want more first C tips check out this video. I hope this video helped you in any way. If it did make sure to leave a like and a sub so I know that it did so I can make more helpful videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.